Well, hi. At the weekend, we were lucky enough to be joined by the Weald and Arn Research Group. And it was really fascinating. They did an Arn ore melt in the woods. So they had these guys that actually gone out and found some Arn ore in a stream and they were going to melt it and make metal. And it was really, really interesting talking to them and finding out what went on. So what they created here, using clay from literally the tree roots at the side of this furnace, they built the furnace and it had really thick walls. And the idea basically would be to fill it up with charcoal to heat it up. And then as it got really hot to about 1300 degrees C, to add the iron ore, which had been ground up and preheated to crack it and drive off some of the impurities, etc. But to then add it with charcoal and do a melt. And they had to keep feeding this furnace. I mean, it was incredible. These guys worked hard for about four or five hours, loading it with more and more charcoal, adding it every few minutes and then adding the iron ore. And in the end, what we got was some slag flowing out from the bottom of the furnace. At first, I thought it was arm, but it's actually the slag. And then what you get inside is what's called a bloom of iron. So a big, large lump of iron inside. Hence, the name of the furnace is a bloomery furnace. And they then beat the iron out on a wooden anvil. And we actually did get some iron. So we'll, we'll show you in the film a bit more about all of this. That's like a pre-treatment to make it crack. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Calcining yeah. it reduces the yeah. carbonate to whatever FEO. And, and you've got this off of a riverbed. Well, not or, that size. A lot no. of it is bigger than that. We've it broken shows. this up with hammers. Yeah. Yes. To get it to that size to roast it. This is the high. This is the high. high, high the high tech equipment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were being quite scientific about the melt and were keeping a record of how much charcoal they were adding, how many buckets, and also how much iron ore and at what times. They had like a time sheet to work down and they timed every few minutes they'd add another bucket. And they did burn an awful lot of material. But it's interesting because by actually trying to replicate what used to happen, they find out more and more by examining the slag about how it used to be done. That on one side. So that's your and crushed up on or. the other side, full of charcoal. Yep. And when they that balances, you know you've got a kilogram of charcoal in there. So that's slag. I've seen that's that slag. in fields. Yeah. 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 But most of that and is charcoal yeah, embedded. Yeah, but a lot of that, of course, is iron. Yeah. You then break it up with a 12, 14 pound hammer. I've got a rock rock crusher like that. How do you? Mm. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> we then roast it. Right which is what those bigger bits there are. Break it down to there. Oh, I see, yes. And then we break it up again into small stuff, which is there. And so um, by roasting it, it makes it more brittle and easier to uh, 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 yeah, and break it's part, it's, the, the carbonate is turned into ferrous oxide or Fe203 or what have you, or Fe304. Um, it's magnetic and then it's reduced in the furnace from that through FEO to iron. And some of it, the slag, the iron goes into the slag. So if you've got low quality ore, you get what we've got there, slag. 11 kilograms of ore went in and 11 kilograms of slag came out. So it's a wasted journey. All you've made is a load of um, slag for building roads. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's a mix 50-50 of ore and yes. charcoal now. Yeah. yeah. We've got a thousand degrees. Right. Can you see the flames have sort of uh, uh, gone translucent? Yes, they have, yes. It's almost like northern lights. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. And is that just because they're hotter or is that a chemical reaction do you think? Well this is well it's all it's all sort of happening. Yeah. You you always know when the metallurgists are not sure because they retreat to the safety of chemical Hello. equations. <laughs> you just got a yard arm. Yeah. That's exact. Yeah. Yeah. Well it's accurate it's enough, isn't it, for the job? One it actually started running on its own. Yeah, I see that. Oh lovely. What kind of wood charcoal? Ah, uh, any wood, but they would have used hornbeam. Hornbeam. 
performed really. Because that was what was Is the hard job. Did you smell some such cyan? Here he goes, yeah, a nice yeah, one coming the out. The chestnut there. was used for forging because it was supposed to burn hotter. Right. All right. Um, oh, look at that. Excellent. Oh, really? Look at that. That's ready. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Victor. Look at that. Best one I've seen, that is. Yeah, so if you don't keep it going, it just oh, looks we'll down there. That is bloody near white heat. Gosh, look at that. Crikey, yes. That is. Now we, this is going to spat, spit, spat out all over the place. Is that going? This one? It, uh, there we are. No, well, no, we've got some. That, that's metal. The idea now is to beat the iron and try and sort of concentrate it in effect, so get rid of the bits of slag and work the iron again. So anyway, if this one wasn't as successful, the next attempt was. Let's get that. That is solid, that is iron. We've got iron! We've got iron! Yay! Funny, funny looking bloom. You need to put the generator back on. The trouble is, you do tend to get it breaking up. But it's quite hard, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mustn't hit it too hard. Cool. It probably is not. Probably too much carbon in it. Too much carbon in it, but. I have to use less, less uh, charcoal. Do a six to one and seven, seven to one. There you are. So, well done, so the too much carbon is because of your charcoal well blue mix. Well done. Well done, lads. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks, you to John for supplying a lot of the charcoal. And you've got to do, do this without... all again tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Without well, the you've, got to, the you've got to work the blue. That's the other one. No. The Wheel and Arm Research Group had set up a very interesting display. They were brave sort because they not stinted on their first day, they decided to have a go and do some more on the second day, on the Sunday. So we're going to get a lot of sorry, no, 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 no. Oh, something running out there, a bit molten. Victor's in the way now. <laughs> What's that? Yes. See the balloon. Oh, 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 oh. There we are. Hey. <laughs> See what happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Back on this one. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it. Yeah. That means that your boots on fire. Have you had another one? That's a hazard. Is that still the No, it's that fine. That's the slag and, and the iron. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching the film. I certainly found it really interesting talking to these guys and learning a bit about how iron used to be made. And if you want to join the Wielden Arn Research Group, then please have a look at the website link down below. And it's very reasonable to join and you get a newsletter, etc. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.